my name is Kara Massey. I'm the producer at uh, Vicarious Vision and of the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Really, really excited to be here. Kara, yes. a lot of people have been, have been wanting this trilogy for quite some time. Years. Yeah. Yes. Would you mind telling us what kind of differences, improvements we'll get to see in the trilogy? Yep. Well, you know, we're still in development, so a lot of a lot of stuff is still t TBD. Um, and as we as we develop, we'll figure out the right formula. Uh, but mostly, what you're seeing and, and what you've seen when you play the game today is like the game uh, lovingly remastered, recreated, really, really from the ground up. So um, it's it's about taking the original game and really honoring the original games, the original three games. You know, Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot Two, Cortex Strikes Back, and uh, Warped. And you know, really honoring what those were, and you know, main, keeping what made them so fantastic. But then, say, like putting them firmly in 2017. You know, we have, you know, uh, tech that's now 20 years newer, and we have a team that's uh, a team of seasoned professionals. They've shipped uh, award-winning AAA titles, and you know, they really, really studied the original games. And you know, there's like a, a lot of material. Uh, out there, you know, concept art, design documents, analysis of these games, and so it's just like really, really understanding what it is to be, you know, a, a crash game. But then, you know, just doing their work like they do, like making a game that fits firmly in 2017, and it's, it feels like, it looks, and feels, and sounds like a completely modern, modern game. The well, games, all three of them. Why did you choose to stay just so true? through the subject matter? I think, uh, I mean, generally, again, and some of that's it's in the works, so we'll see where we land on some of that with the design. I mean, we're starting with um, with a, you know, a fantastic game. It's it's loved, it's been loved for 20 years for a reason. It's simple, it's precise, it's got great flow, it's challenging, it's completely compelling. You, you see, like, the fans here, you know, it's like, as soon as they, you know, as soon as they die or get to a level, they want to play again, and you want to play again, and as soon as you think you're good, you just want to you go, oh no, I can be better, and you keep playing again. So you don't want to mess with the formula that, that, that really works, right? So it's for us, it was like, okay, we, like again, we want to stay true to what works, but then like, you know, we have the benefit of hindsight. And you know, just like I said, there's a lot of material out there, even with the original developers, the things they learned throughout creating the, the original three games. So, and we're, you know, as I said, we're, as we're developing it, we're seeing, well, wh what could we improve? What could we enhance? Where could we offer variation? I think um, what like fans are going to find when they when they finally get the game in 2017 is uh, a lot of moments where like oh my god look what they did there oh my god look what they added there oh look you know what they, look what they done there oh my god look what happens when I do this so like I said wait and see we got a lot you know a lot to show when it comes out in 2017. Just 2017 for the moment. That's all I can say for the moment. Uh, have you showed the game to Naughty Dog, anyone from Naughty Dog? Yep, uh, I've heard that Naughty Dog um, gave two thumbs up, they thought it was fantastic, so um, we definitely have their blessing. Are you allowed to tell us anything about how this even came to be with Activision having the rights to crash and touch? To some extent, yeah. I mean, we are partnering, Activision owns the rights, as you said, and we're partnering, uh, Activision and Sony are partnering to, they have, you know, and like I said, there's a lot of love and support from both of them uh, for this franchise and for the three games. And Activision approached my studio, Vicarious Visions, and said, hey, you know, let's bring back these original, uh, beloved, iconic first three games of this equally iconic franchise, you know, and of course, you know, what would you do? You just, you know, dance around your office going, yes, you know, like, of course we'll do this. And then the next moment you go, oh my God, this is a, a pr this game is very, very precious to fans. You know, it's, it's a fantastic game. We have to do right by it. We have to nail it. So that's, that's basically the genesis of the game. From what I have played, it definitely seems like you're on, well on your way to succeeding. So I'm looking very much forward to hearing more, that, more about the game. So 2017, that's all for now. Yeah, 2017 is $39.99, but it's available for pre-order today, which just blows my mind. And it's like, actually, already you can pre-order this thing. Yeah. I'm Thank looking you. very much forward to it. Thank you so much. The team will really appreciate that. Thank you. Great to